and going from tens of thousands of, of packages and, and you know hundreds and hundreds of pallets uh, since the startup of, of chlorine dioxide treatment they've had two packages I, I have lots of them uh, we have a client um, that produces hot dogs, uh, and they were fighting a seasonal issue with, with their system where every summer, um, when production is the highest, uh, they were having bacterial outbreaks and recalling 20% or so of their product uh, upwards of a few million dollars uh, a year. Um, we, were, we helped trace the problem back to their brine chill system uh, and installed uh, a chlorine dioxide uh, delivery system, our Pure 3000 pre-made chlorine dioxide uh, that they've used now for the last two years um, and going from tens of thousands of, of packages and, and you know, hundreds and hundreds of pallets uh, since the startup of, of chlorine dioxide treatment, they've had two packages test positive. So uh, a huge win for them. Um, you know, the cost is insignificant compared to their, their recall costs and very little effort on their part. Um, just setting up a tank and a pump uh, and a sensor, uh, uh, flow switch to, to pump when they run and they don't have to do anything with it. Uh, another uh, huge win uh, has been in the, the poultry industry. Uh, we've worked directly with a lot of very large scale industrial poultry um, growers and adding chlorine dioxide to their water systems has reduced the levels of diseases like kinky back uh, so much that mortality rates that were typically in the 8 to 10 percent range have fallen to the 1 percent range, being that, that only 1 percent of the birds are lost from, from hatching to, to growth now, um, which is huge for keeping up their uh, uh, dollars per pound of, of meat, um, which is huge. Another great example we have uh, is in the powdered milk and baby formula industry. Um, we've had a few clients uh, that showed similar fantastic results. Uh, there's a very specific biofilm microbial outbreak that, that they get in their water systems that ends up in their final product, making it unacceptable for for sale. Uh, they utilize chlorine primarily to try to combat this, but that often raises their chlorate levels too high and doesn't fully remove their, their biological problem. Switching to chlorine dioxide lowered their overall chemical costs, um, removed the bio uh, microbial issue completely, and lowered the chlorate levels in the final product by a factor of 10, thus allowing it to be sold in the Asian and European markets.